Hey, it's your girl, Black Cajun, and I'm going to do another tutorial today, a uh, crafting tutorial. I'm here in Houston, Texas, trying to survive Hurricane Harvey, and I'm getting a bit of cabin fever, so what a way <clears throat> to exert some kind of energy then to just start crafting, doing tutorials, or whatever. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on split levels, because I see a lot of people, you know, in the different... Uh, silhouette cameo groups asking questions about split letters uh, and how to do it so I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on it <clears throat> first things first you have to select a letter that you're gonna you want to split uh, I'm gonna do a capital R make it a little bigger <clears throat> And I'm going to select the font that I want to use. And I'm going to use the Regal font. It's one of the most popular fonts for uh, for split letters. But there's like a plethora of different uh, letters that you can use. That's just as fancy, if not fancier, than the <clears throat> Regal font. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a small little rectangle. So I want to use this rectangle to actually split the R in two pieces. And what I like to do is select the rectangle and change its color. Now I'm using a 4.1 beta uh, design studio, and it's a basic studio. It's not the designer edition or anything like that. It's a little different from the one that I have on my PC. But my PC is kind of hard for me to record. Uh, it, so for some reason, I picked up my voice. And I have a mic attached to it. But anyway, I'm going to take that rectangle and put it where I want the letter to split. And I'm going to put it just, you know, right under the natural round portion of the R. That way you can still see that's a, that it is an R when I'm finished with it. So I'm going to select both portions. I'm going to go to the Modify panel. <clears throat> And it's going to look different on your uh, software because, I'm, like I said, my other software, it looks a lot different. But you just look for the, the modified section where it lets you do the welding, subtracting. And what you're going to do is select all portions and hit subtract. And it's going to just subtract whatever's in that little rectangle area. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is select just the bottom portion I want everything all the tiny little pieces of these leaves that's in that bottom portion I need that selected and then I'm going to group it together go to object group or do you can hit control G okay so now I have to do the same to make it easier I'm just going to move this down and we use the arrow the down arrow button please ignore the noise like I said we're going through a hurricane right now and it's just crazy in my house um, so I'm gonna select the top portion make sure I get everything uh, too far up and I'm just hit control G it's easier <clears throat> So now that I selected, I'm going to use the up arrow to push that up some. Okay, now I need to go back to this rectangle tool, and I'm going to make my rectangles just slightly bigger. And once again, I'm going to, well, you know what, I'm not going to change the color, I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to duplicate, or replicate, wherever, I got to find it, because I'm still trying to get the replicate panel, i just go to the side, should have went down, but anyway, so I'm going to take that, and move it down, but what I want is for it to come, it needs to t at least touch this, but I'm going to make it overlap a little bit, and I'll show you why. Got one more. Oh, no, it didn't overlap. 
the dam. There could be some problems. Down a little more. There we go. See, it's overlapping a little bit. I'm going to do the same for this one. And make it overlap just a little bit. Okay. So now it looks kind of raggedy. We're going to fix that. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to go to this alignment transform panel. And then I'm going to align it horizontally. So with it aligned horizontally, I'm going to take the bottom portion off. I always start with the bottom, but you can just start with the top. And I'm going to select this, select both of them. And then I'm going to go back to the modify panel and I'm going to weld it together. Because if you don't weld it together, when you go to send it through your cutter, it'll cut these little pieces outside out of your uh this rectangle and it'll just mess up. It won't look as smooth. So I'm gonna go here and weld. And then I'm control G again. And I'm gonna do it for the top portion. And control G. I'm gonna change the color. So far, so good. But what I did, I made it a little too big. So I'm going to select both of them and size them down so that I can put the that I want in there. I'm going to come in and type in the word that I want in there, which will be my maiden last name. I'm going to change the font. I want it to be kind of a thick, bold font. So I'm going to put impact. And then I can bring it over here and adjust. Man, the city is, in, is just devastated. I'm just sitting at home with my husband and kids and watching the news. I see it, baby. I'm going to adjust the letters until it's something I can live with. Uh, and for some strange reason, when you split them, split these letters, sometimes it looks as if they're not like centered or you can just go here and make sure it's centered and you'll know if your eyes will play tricks on you but it is a hundred percent centered so then you can just everything and group it together and there you have it let me see if i can quickly do another one before my time is up let me do it s and the regal font again. I'll do a different font. Yes, sir. Take the fish out. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to use the Algerian font for the S. And it's good. I mean, it's the same process. It's going to look a little different. I'm going to go a little bit faster with this one since I've already done one.
Subtract it. <clears throat> okay. And now I'm going to group the two sections like I did in the previous step. I'm going to use Control G because it's a little faster. Then trying to go to object. <clears throat> Okay, let me grab the top section and group it. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. I'm going to go down. So I'm going to make sure these are aligned once again. The horizontal align. Then I'm going to take the top portion. Okay. And I'm going to go to the modify panel and weld it together. Then group it and do the same thing for the bottom portion. Mm, man, it is a mess out here. Almost the whole city is underwater. Seems like my area is a little, I guess it's a little higher. We have two bayous that's uh, a, a bayou like two streets down, which is one of the main bayous, Bray's Bayou. Then we have a smaller bayou right in our backyard, and they're both uh, all the way to the top. But hopefully, they won't crest. Now, Bray's Bayou crest at like uh, one portion, several portions, like close to universities, uh, Texas Southern University. It's over the top and it's kind of, it, it, not kind of, flooded out the university. U of H is totally, totally underwater. Texas Southern is underwater. Third Ward is just totally devastated. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, was going to go. My job's been calling for us to evacuate there. But I think my husband wants to just stay put in. He feels it'll be safer if we stay home since we're on the second floor. If it flood, we'll just... Nothing, there's nothing. Uh, wait a minute, baby, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna group this. I said wait, just give me a second. Everybody have cabin fever and everybody is pretty... Uh, on edge. I said okay. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do it. When I finish, okay. Can you let me finish this before you just keep going on and you know I'm video or something? All right. So here's the R and the S. One in the Regal font, and the other one is in the Algerian font. All right. So let me get off of here and tend to my family. Thanks for watching.